Erev Tov Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benoon, and you are watching Israeli News Live, a prophetic segment of our broadcast tonight. Uh, it's not airing on live stream. We normally don't do a news broadcast uh, on uh, the Sabbath, but this time here we have elected to come before you because it's also a teaching as well. It is a prophetic broadcast uh, in regards to the meeting that has just uh, concluded in Paris about climate change. Uh, and this is something that I wanted to share with you. It's something Brother Kellen Davis and we were speaking tonight together on Skype earlier about different biblical things. And he shared with me a very interesting revelation that God had given him about climate change. One that I wanted to share with you as well in light of the different uh, things that have been said here. Uh, before I speak with you about uh, Brother Kellen's revelation that God gave him, I want you to listen just for a moment here what uh, President uh, Obama has actually said in an interview that he did um, uh, here at, on the Hill. Uh, I want to share with you this video here on CBS News that he gave in, a, in an interview, the first one he gave in Coming Back, uh, and then we'll go more into it. Now keep in mind, it's Pope Francis that has spearheaded this whole climate change uh, campaign. And then we'll look at one other issue there, and then we'll go. We'll move on into the prophetic side of this broadcast here. Let's take a look at though at what Obama has to say in this interview Today's here. One-on-one -on -one interview at the White House. It is his first interview since returning from the Paris climate talks. And you did say in the State of the Union that no challenge poses a greater threat to future generations than climate change. Do you mean that it's a greater threat than terrorism? What I mean by that is that. Uh, we're going to get ISIL. They will be defeated. There will be ongoing efforts to uh, disrupt the world order from terrorists, from rogue states, from you know, cyber attacks. Notice what There's he's saying now. some bad people out there trying to do bad things, and we have to be vigilant in going after them. But if you start seeing the oceans rise by five, six, seven feet, uh, if... Uh, you see major shifts in weather patterns so that what have been previously uh, bread baskets to the world suddenly can no longer grow food, then you're seeing the kind of crisis that we can't deal with through the deployment of the Marines. We can't deal with it through uh, throwing money at it. But what we know is that uh, as human beings are placed under strain, then bad things happen. Uh. And you notice what he says there. This, he's liking this to terrorism. Uh, and not only did uh, Barack Obama, President Obama, actually liken it to terrorism as well, also the French president fights against climate change, terrorism linked. Uh, he also speaks about the same thing. Uh, Paris fight against terrorism and global warming are closely linked. French President Franco uh, Francois Holland said on Monday as world leaders met in Paris for the climate change talks two weeks after the deadly Islamist militant attacks in France, uh, France's capital. Now, I think it's rather fascinating uh, that these two men have done this. I, I had mentioned in a message not too long ago, me and Brother Kellen were actually speaking about these different things here, how that the climate change, the reason why they're worried about climate change coming, and I suggested that it's because the two witnesses are coming. It's not that they're looking for a major shift in the climate from an asteroid or anything like that. What they're worried about are the two witnesses coming. We see this in Psalm 83. We're going to go to that in just a moment. Uh, in fact, let me take you to that right now. In Psalm 83, it says there, Keep thou not silent, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still. O God, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. A uh, tumult is an uprising. It, it is, it is a, a major issue. And this is what we're finding in the Middle East right now. You're seeing all the, all the armies that are being gathered into that region of the world right now around Israel. Something else Brother Kellen pointed out to me this evening. He said, notice how all the nations of the world are gathering there in the Middle East. Why? Because he says they know the two witnesses are coming. They're getting ready to battle with them. All right? Now he says, they have taken crafty a counsel against thy people, that's Israel, 
and consulted against thy hidden ones. I've held for the last several years that the hidden ones are the two witnesses. They are hidden. Brother Kellen said, much like God hid Moses and Jesus, Yeshua that is, he hid them in Egypt. He said, I believe like you, Brother Steve, that they're here now, but they're somewhere hidden in the world and they've not come out on the scene as of yet. But when they do, then this is when we're going to see a major eruption of the climate itself. That's what Barack Obama stated in this interview here. And let me just take you back just a little bit into this. Maybe we can catch it again. Let's just see. Efforts to... Uh, disrupt the world order from terrorists, from rogue states. Notice that. Disrupt the cyber world. Attacks. Cyber There's attacks, terrorists. Some bad people out there trying to do bad things. Bad and people trying to, to do bad things. Be vigilant in going after them. But if you start seeing the oceans rise by five, six, seven feet, uh, if, oceans rising. Uh, you see major five, six, seven shifts feet. in weather patterns. Major so shifts in weather patterns. Bread baskets to the world suddenly can no longer grow food. What have been previously bread baskets to the world can no longer grow food? My brother, sister, listen to me. What happened in Paris in this talks that they're going on right now is prophecy being fulfilled before your eyes. This is the counsel against thy hidden ones. Sephanecha is the word in Hebrew for hidden ones. See, and this is what they are doing. They are coming out with a way to deal with the two witnesses with this massive global climate change. Barack Obama, the president of the United States, is giving it away specifically. He's likening it to terrorism, and he's showing you that if you suddenly see a change of the, of the weather, of the seas rising five, six, seven feet, is he worried about tidal waves? Is he worried about the 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 globe, uh, the the the, uh, the the melting of the of the ice up in the north or in the South Pole or something like that? He's talking about sudden major changes in weather. Brother, sister, do you realize, like Brother Kellen said, he says they have prepared this. They're making these laws in order to deal with what? They're liking it to terrorism so that they can be able to try to arrest the two witnesses and bring them in. Remember, the Bible says if any man hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and destroys their enemies. Now, I don't believe that's a literal fire, but whatever they say, God will bring it to pass. Like Elijah, they sent 50 soldiers in to get him. He called fire out of heaven and came down and devoured their enemies. Now, when Jesus was here, his apostles said, should we, like Elijah, call for fire down? Yeshua said, you don't know what spirit you're of. It wasn't the right age for that. That age is about to come on the earth now. You understand? Friends, we're seeing it. They're making laws. They're making ready for the two witnesses. You're talking about Bible prophecy coming to pass right now, again, right before our eyes. We are seeing the nations that have gathered together. Notice what it says here. They have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And these nations are all going to be confederate against Israel. Look at, look at what... Uh, what uh, what's his name there? The guy that's running for president in the United States there. Um, that recently uh, he, he he comes out against Israel. That's uh, let me just pull up the article real quick for you. Because Israel National News actually uh, has carried the uh, has carried the article of this guy as well. Um, here we go. Donald Trump is who I'm thinking about right here. Trump says we're dis uh, says here, Zoa to Trump, we're disappointed and alarmed. Well, you have good reason to be so because what is Donald Trump saying right now? Donald Trump is saying that 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 that, that, that there's got to be that in his his term that he if he becomes president that he's going to definitely push for the two-state solution. And he said it's not the Palestinians' fault; it's the Israel Israelis' fault. And that's what he claims in here. He's going to Israel. Uh, it says, peace between Israel and the Palestinian Authority has to be 
has to do with Israel and whether or not Israel is willing to sacrifice certain things. Trump told the Jewish Republican coalition this despite his acknowledgement that Israel had already made many difficult moves for the sake of peace agreement. Trump also made several remarks that were quickly accused of uh, uh, bearing anti-Semitic uh, intonations. So, you know, the whole thing is, all the world's going to be against Israel, period. And that's what it says right here in uh, Psalm 83. They have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom, the, the Ishmaelites, Moab, the Hagarenes, Gebal, Ammon, Amalek, the Philistines, and with the inhabitants of Tyre, uh, Assur, or uh, is joined uh, with them, which is Syria. And, friends, we're, we're right here at the door. We are at the door of prophecy being fulfilled. Again, we've seen another prophecy here. Uh, God bless Brother Kellen for, for, for sharing me with this wonderful revelation that God had just given him that this climate change, these, these laws are being enacted in order to be able to come against the two witnesses. And I had not caught it like that. I did realize, though, that uh, when we did the video uh, several months back about this uh, this new agenda, the, 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 the Agenda 21 Pope Francis was pushing, I, we had suggested then that the climate change was as a result because they were worried about what the two witnesses were going to do. Uh, there was a lot of talk back then that there was an asteroid that was going to hit the Earth. We even finally brought it in our own news uh, just in case an event there really was some truth to it. Ended up not being any truth to it at all. But, uh, but, but nonetheless... Uh, we, we did recognize that, yes, that, that, that the climate change, we believed, had to do with the two witnesses. And then Brother Kellen shares with me tonight. He said, Brother Steve, I believe this is why they're passing the law. It's why they're meeting in Paris right now. It's because they're getting ready for the two witnesses. They want to label it as a terrorist threat so that they can arrest them. This is what they're looking to be able to do. But listen, brother, sister, it's going to be like Philip. They'll be able to walk right on out. Be like Peter. Peter walked right on out of the jail. You won't be able to contain them for three and a half years. And yes, there will be a major climate shift. And yes, the world is confederate. Yes, they have consulted against thy hidden ones. You are watching, again, prophecy unfolding, that prophecy being fulfilled at this very moment. I'm sorry for yelling, guys. I'm just so excited. I cannot even begin to tell you the words that I feel in my heart. Uh, maybe we should do another uh, message about the two witnesses. Uh, I, I'm sure, I say do it again. I, I did one recently there. We didn't air it here on Israeli News Live. But, uh, but it, is a, it was a powerhouse there. Maybe I should put one together here, bring it out for you guys this weekend here while we are resting during the, uh, the Shabbat, the Jewish Shabbat that's going on right now. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. God bless you. Keep your eyes open. Listen, brother, sister, pray. You need to be in prayer. You know, God does say, me and Brother Kellen was speaking about this as well tonight. My, my wife has been heavy on her heart as well where Yeshua speaks about the kingdom is nigh even in you. The kingdom, it is not, does not come with, with, a, with a visual sight. It's within you. That's where the kingdom is. We have to get in prayer, friends, sincere prayer before the Lord. We need to be walking one with Yeshua. Okay? God bless you. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for supporting this, this broadcast, and thank you for supporting this ministry. If you do believe this type of news broadcast and prophetic segments of this, stand with us. You can contribute online at IsraeliNewsLive.org or IsraelReturns.com, or you can uh, send to our address. We've actually got our first uh, letter here in the Czech Republic just recently. God bless you, and thank you for watching. Shalom.